Hello, hello, curious gang, it's your London friend, Vasi, and if you already follow me, you would know that I'm all about saving money and frugal living. However, since today we are on vacation, I thought it might be interesting to show you how much money do I spend in a day visiting Valencia, Spain. First cost of the day, this private helicopter, which was 20 grand. Uh, no, of course, I'm just kidding. We took a Ryanair flight, which was the cheapest option. And in total, for two people, a round trip was 54 quid. So one way per person, it is just 13.75. If that's not a great deal, then I don't know what. Hola, curious gang! Hello, hello! I feel a little bit refreshed, but let me tell you what we have been up to. Basically, what happened is that we had a flight very early in the morning, like very early, at 7 a.m., which means that we had to wake up at 3.30 a.m. It was a little bit rough. We... You know what I usually do when I have a rough day? I have something sweet, it literally always helps. And since we were in Spain, we went for some churros. Four churros, which go together with the chocolate. This is the farron, which goes together with the horchata. And this is me, that I go with passage. This is horchata, which is kind of a vegan milk made from chufa nuts. Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir! Oh, this is so nice! I don't know why I thought it would have some kind of feeling. Maybe I was a little bit too optimistic, thinking that for 50 cents it would also have a feeling inside. And the total for our breakfast came down to 8 euros 30, which I think it's pretty fair. You guys, I am so tired because of the waking up super early but apart from that we're really enjoying our stay in Valencia but now we are just sitting in one of the many benches around. Hi, first thoughts on Valencia? First thoughts, I think I'm a city man, I like living in the city and Valencia is a city built at a human scale so it's not too big, it's not too small but it has enough services, attractions that you can, you know, like reach by simply walking or taking the metro for a few stops, so I like it. Funny thing, this is how you see Valencia on Instagram and this is how it is at the moment. After that, we had a little walk around the city center, which was free, and uh, later we had to head off for lunch because it was already quite late. We are at the restaurant and we have been here for a while actually, we changed tables and we have been waiting for like 20 something minutes and it's 3 p.m. and I feel like we're having a very Spanish late lunch. What, do you, what time do you actually have lunch? Because in London I eat at like maximum one and I'm already super hungry. As this was our first lunch in Spain, of course we had to go for the paella. And here we are with our first paella. Now, there is a little trick when it comes to pricing the paella in Spain. Usually they write the price per person, but they serve it for minimum of two people. So in the menu, we could see that it's 70 50, but this is the price per person. So in total, what you see in there, it's 35 euros. By the way, guys, do you know what is the one ingredient which they always use in paella? And it also gives the typical color. Saffron. Yes, yes, the paella always has saffron. The interesting thing is that it looks huge, but actually there isn't like so much rice in it, so it's really manageable. For and I feel like we got a pretty typical paella with uh, seafood, because here we have the small shrimps, this type of mussels, the sepia, which is really, really, it's not a lot, it's very little actually. To be honest, like I expected it to be a little bit bigger so maybe i would suggest you also getting some 
some sort of like tapas or a starter. Ten minutes later, this is the situation. By the way, do you know that Valencia is the third biggest city in Spain, right after Madrid and Barcelona? Do you know also how many people living here? I thought that it's like at least a million, but recently I found out that it's like 800,000 people, which is not a lot, but at the same time the city feels quite big. In the afternoon we walked a little bit and after that went to the city of arts and sciences which is actually a little bit further away from the city center so i recommend you taking the underground or biking to there i'm pretty sure that this modern cultural and architectural complex it's already on your bucket list because it's actually one of the most famous sites of valencia and something which we visited in there is uh, ocean graphic which is basically this huge aquarium it's actually the largest marine park in europe and we bought the tickets online so we saved some time not money but you know time is money so we literally saved both and the tickets for it were 32 euros per person i have to say i was a little bit skeptical in the beginning because i wasn't really sure if it would be worth it but definitely enjoyed it especially the ceo and the cute little penguins. Hola amigos! Update! We are at the beach of Valencia, which would be a total must stop for everyone. But let me show you how does the beach look and also how amazing the sand is. <laughs> and this is us we realized that we're quite close to the beach so we took the tram for a couple of stops and then we arrived at the main beach which is called uh, cabanial i guess and we walked in there and this was one of the best experiences and you know it was also free which is always great and I guess you can imagine how tired we were after this endless day waking up at 3am and doing uh, all these things. But one thing which you should always do right when visiting a new city, it is eating the local food. And what's more local than a paella, which we already had, and some tapas in Spain. So this is exactly what we did for dinner. I cannot find better photos, unfortunately, but I really, really recommend you this place. It was so good that Ben still remembers the name of the waiter, like six months later. This brings the total for the day to 85 euros and six cents which is not little but considering the amount of things that we did and also the fact that it includes the, the flight i think it's pretty fair and i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i will see you in my next one love you all bye